Don't cross dressing when playing online games. Author Agam Mora. Cross dress small world, part 6. I don't want to be a useless girlfriend. I have moved to Dustin's house for a week now. My life is still going on as calmly as before. Dustin is quite fond of me. Although he was busy at the company all day, he still made time to chat, ask questions, even play games with me for a while every night. Sometimes I see a hint of fatigue in his eyes, but he still tries to force a gentle smile every time he sees me. This makes me feel unintelligible. I wonder, is he already too immersive? I was just his contract girlfriend for a year. Not to mention, I'm not even a girl anymore. He treats me like a real girlfriend. I don't know why, but I don't want to think too much about it either. In the short term, I just hope time passes quickly so that I can completely stop my debt to Dustin. So, I have absolutely no feelings for Dustin at all. Dustin and I also do not sleep in the same room. Dustin's apartment is quite spacious, so we each have a separate room. There's only one emotion in me right now, I'm a bit embarrassed because it seems like I'm the most idle, useless person here. Dustin just needs me to be his friend. Besides, I can do whatever I want. He was even willing to give me some money to spend. But my facial skin is not that thick, I absolutely did not touch a dime from him. I owe him too much already. Even though I don't use Dustin's money, I just stay at home all day without having a job or a contribution to Dustin. For the past week I have lived the life of an idler just like before. Only one thing is different, I am currently an idle girl. Living in the same environment with talented, outstanding people, I feel ashamed that I alone am useless. Before I left, I made a promise to myself, to my family, that I would radically change. Yet what have I done in the past week to change? Nothing. I can't let this continue. After thinking carefully, I made a decision in my heart. That night, I was waiting at the door. This is a habit I just formed not too long ago. Dustin has always treated me very well, so even though I can't see him as a boyfriend, I still have to have this little courtesy. As usual, Dustin opened the door and walked in, greeted with a smile on his lips, Hi. I'm back. I nodded, Hi. Dustin said, you are still as beautiful today as ever. That dress suits you so well. I blushed when I received his compliment. After he stepped out of the bathroom, we ate together again. Tiffany still had a few things to deal with at work today, so she couldn't go home in time. During the meal, Dustin noticed my strange restlessness. Dustin asked, how are you? Do you have something to say? I blushed at him, then lowered my head again. After a while, I mustered up the courage to say, I, actually, I feel so useless. I feel like I don't deserve your kindness. Dustin smiled, why are you so tense? As long as I see that you are not useless. I interrupted Dustin's words, but, I can't feel that way. I'd like to help you. Even though I don't have that ability right now. I still want to help. I want to change. Dustin was surprised after hearing what I said. My face was as red as a gack fruit. What a shame. I have never said this to anyone. Dustin laughed again, you're so cute. I love this expression of yours. I blushed again and said, you are a bad guy. I'm dying of shame. Dustin said, okay, I understand. So how do you want to help me? I said, I want to learn programming to help you at work. Dustin replied, you can do that if you want. But programming is not a simple matter, I only help you with the first step, how far you can go is up to you. I happily replied, yes, thank you, I know. And so every night, Dustin taught me how to program step by step. At first, I simply wanted to help Dustin, but actually, 
I was not very interested in this. However, after many days of interact and dedicated instruction from Dustin, I suddenly developed a passion for programming. One thing I did not expect, I found myself a little gifted in programming. Combining passion and aptitude, I improved day by day. In the morning, I spend almost all of my time studying more programming courses on the internet. Dustin also has his job, he cannot accompany me to study all the time. So I have to try it myself. After a while, although I was still a long way from the professional level, I felt that I also had a bit of achievement in learning programming. I feel grateful to Dustin. He was the main agent that helped me change. Thanks to him, I was able to step out of the dark room with only the lights from the game on the computer screen. Thanks to him, I realized that I had wasted years on useless things. Thanks to him, I feel like I have a predestined relationship with programming. I am truly grateful to him for everything he has given me. I want to do something to repay him. One night, after Dustin tested my skills, he nodded and said, um, you're great. Only a few months of studying, you have reached the level of a programming intern. Talent is only a part, I know in my heart that you have spent almost all of your time and effort to achieve today's achievements. You've worked hard. I was delighted to hear Dustin's comment, I said, yes, thank you for helping me. I got to where I am today thanks to you. I want to do something to thank you. Dustin said, no need. Your efforts have paid off. I shook my head and said, no way. If I don't do something to repay you, I will feel unnatural. Dustin thought for a while and then said, then. Can you move to the same room as me, from tonight, okay? I froze for a moment. I didn't expect him to want that. But I promised to do whatever he wanted to repay him so of course I won't go back on my word. Not to mention, Dustin has helped me too much. With such a simple request, how could I refuse? I replied, yes. It didn't take too long, I moved all my furniture from my room to Dustin's room. I promised Dustin, from now on we will be in the same room. After struggling for a while, it was almost bedtime, we cleaned up for a while and then prepared to go to bed. This is the first time I've slept in the same bed with another man, it's actually a bit nervous. Dustin changed into a simple men's pajamas, while I was about to change into the men's clothes I wore when I moved to Dustin's house. Although I love the feeling of wearing women's clothes, I am still not used to wearing them to bed. It feels a bit entangled leading to difficulty sleeping. Dustin looked like he was wondering why I had to change into men's clothes. He asked, why don't you wear female clothes to bed, but change to men's clothes? Honestly, I'm not used to sleeping with a man either. I turned to explain, I have no way. It's not that I don't want to wear women's clothes, it's just that every time I wear them on the bed, I find it difficult to sleep. Dustin pondered for a while and then asked, could it be that the female outfit you wear when you go to bed is not a nightgown? While shopping, didn't Tiffany choose them for you? At this time, I suddenly remembered the colorful nightgowns that Tiffany had chosen for me. She also told me that soon I would know the advantages of nightgowns. I have never worn them until now. Simply because I feel they are quite thin and lack of fabric. I'm not sure if I can wear them, so I've decided to keep them in the corner of the closet until now. I turned to Dustin and said, actually, yes, Tiffany bought a lot of them. But I haven't tried them on yet. The fabric of the nightgown is a bit thin, I'm afraid my body will be exposed. Dustin smiled and said, nightgown is originally designed to make it easy to sleep. You already bought it anyway or should you try it on tonight? What if you like them? If you don't like it, tomorrow I will take you to buy some men's pajamas for you. I don't really like this option, but as long as you're comfortable, that's fine. 
I thought for a moment and then nodded, okay. So let me give it a try. To be continued. Day's story would like to stop here. Thank you for watching. Please like and share for people with similar interests to motivate me to develop my channel. Goodbye and see you in another story.